this again. Storytelling Mondays, as always. And today I would be doing Draw and Tell completely from scratch, as I've done the last few weeks, but my camera died the first time I tr tried to film this video, so I drew the characters we're talking about um, while waiting for the camera to recharge. Not what's happening, just the characters. If you rem if you've seen last week's one, it's Samuel and Jude again, plus their little friend off to the side, who we're going to call, if I can find a pen, Marie. Don't know why, she's just Marie now. And Marie off to the side. This was them last week at a picnic. This is them this week. All wrapped up warm. Jude in a lovely red coat. Marie in a fleece and a blue former coat and Samuel its name's it is Samuel in a black former coat with a green drum for underneath that you can just about see and today they are going for a walk in a fir forest not sure why I chose specifically a fir forest but no not fir as in the stuff on animals I mean like fir trees the type of trees that get used as Christmas trees. I call all of those fire trees because I'm very bad at recognising the differences in them. Or I call them Christmas trees. Anyway, that type of tree. The one that's kind of bristly and stuff like that. They're going in a walk of that. Which I have been in. A few woods like that. And I'm just going to draw in some bits on the ground that's a bit like a path for them to be following but is really just me doing like sprinkle type flushes or no flashes scribbles or over a bit of the page and it can go in that direction because that seems to be what paths end up looking like they can be a bit further off to the side of um, somewhere. I do remember, and I did tell myself off, well, when I watched it back, that I called Samuel Sam at the end of the video. I will apologise right now to Sam, because I did say Sam doesn't like being called... Samuel doesn't like being called Sam. I'll apologise to... I'm apologising to him again for calling him Sam, however many times I just did. These are in autumn, so any other forest I'd be using a lot of brown and oranges. This is a forest that's a fir tree, fir forest, so they're evergreen trees. So I get to use the two dark greens I have in my pens and do lots of branches of green. And they're on their walk in the forest because Marie wanted to go and climb some trees, for all that it's autumn and consequently quite cold. And fir trees, well I've seen quite a few fir trees that like having branches that are very very good for climbing. I don't know what I'm doing, I'm just really scribbling bits in that could be trees, branches. Looks a bit foresty to me. How should how high should I do them? Oh, that's about the right height. And some over here. And Marie loves climbing trees. Jude has just gone along to watch and maybe take some cameras. She is carrying a rucksack for snacks and drinks and her camera. They do keep phones in their pockets, but they prefer taking phones on photos on their cameras because cameras tend to make better quality photos. Is that understood? Now, Samuel loves climbing trees with Marie because they always make it a competition over who can climb the highest. In fact, they love their competitions and they make it a running total over who's climbed the highest the most times and actually help 
a bit of a tally chart going on in one of Jude's notebooks over who's climbed the highest. Jude tends to be around when they do this, when they want to go climbing, so she tends to be the one to keep score. They do have lots of other friends, as I said last week, but their other friends aren't as close to each other as these guys are to each other. Or they have their own little niches. Have you ever noticed that in big groups of friends? There are still niches. Like some people are really great friends and then there are other groups of three or four that aren't the best friends and so on. That needs a bit more brown. I'm... oh, my brown will do. Anyway. And you can normally see who the close friends are after not long in a group. Because that's just how the friendship group works. This tree is kind of oddly shaped. It's kind of a santi tree. I like santi trees. Or oh, its branches are weird. It's really just squiggles for branches. Almost as many branch squiggles as there are leaf squiggles. Meh. And it, on this trip to the forest, um, Marie and... Samuel decide to take a knife with them and on the tree that they decide to climb which will be the tree that I've got being quite near the edge of the page with lots of leaf squiggles though no, there will be others I've just scribbled in a few other trees actually or trunks of trees really should have used more identifiable colours for trousers instead of putting both Samuel and Marie in brown trousers but they both picked brown trousers because they can get stained when climbing trees and a bit of brown and green kind of look kind of is kind of okay for getting a bit dirty and tree bark and things scribbling off on them which means that they're not that worried if they get some green stains on their jeans which I will include just because and which they do get to some extent while climbing trees actually to quite a large extent because sometimes with their risk taking and slipping sometimes they get stains or they get bits of leaf sticking to them these types of leaves I always find really annoying if they get stuck to things it's just what I think well, this day they decided they were going to mark on the tree, with a little cut of, cut of the tree, how high they got, and write a little a letter on the tree where they reached. Samuel, on this day, managed to climb higher, because his walking boots were a bit more trodden in than Marie's, which were because Marie had worn new shoes for the day to try and start breaking them in, because what better way to break in shoes than to climb trees. I'd love to have tried doing that when I did dancing because I hated having to sit there bending dance shoes in any direction. Didn't make sense to me. But Marie's breaking in new walking boots by climbing trees as high as she can and challenging Simon to them. So they decided to mark somewhere up here which one got the tall, got the highest. And Samuel just managed to beat Marie. And Jude sat at the floor taking pictures. Taking lots of pictures of what they were doing, how high they were getting, and teasing them a bit. And joking with them, because they're climbing a flim flipping tall tree, and she thinks they're a bit ridiculous for doing it. And that's their adventure today. That's their adventure in the wood. And that's the picture we are left with. See you all tomorrow. Bye.